that we're just uncovering in Libya. One of our crews there has apparently come across evidence of radioactive material, unguarded and dangerously available to anyone, we're told, with bad intent. Ben Wiedemann joining us on the phone just outside uh, the town of Sabah. Tell us what you know, Ben. Yes, Kira, we're about a 50-minute drive to the northeast of the city of Subha in the Sahara Desert, and we've come across two warehouses full of thousands of blue barrels, some of them marked uh, radioactive. On the ground in one of those warehouses, we found several uh, large plastic bags full of what appears to be yellow powder, which have been closed also with this radioactive tape. Also at the site, we found things like something called a dosometer, which gives you a reading on ra radioactivity, as well as film that you may have seen in movies that they are, is also used to give an indication of the level of ambient radioactivity. Now, it was lightly guarded, I stress the lightly, by about three to four guys in their late teens, early 20s. And in fact, officials of the NTC came to us last night uh, saying that they had found this site and that they were curious and somewhat concerned about the content of it. Uh, now, ben, since any we arrived at this site, more... Yes, Kira. And any idea who owns this? Well, it was a military site. We've been through some of the offices, and uh, it was clearly something belonging to the, Lib the Libyan military. We haven't found any documents yet indicating the nature uh, of the site. It's all mostly just sort of run-of-the-mill military uh, paperwork. But there is an office where we found, for instance, protective suits that are still on coat hangers. We found in the trash rubber gloves that had clearly been used fairly recently. They weren't too dusty or anything like that. So uh, clearly it was some sort of facility belonging to the Libyan government until quite recently uh, there were people manning it. But, of course, day before yesterday is when uh, the NPC forces took over Sebha. So it's only recently uh, changed hands. Kira? 